Honeybees are an essential part of American food production, but now they are dying off at an alarming rate. Nearly half of all colonies gone in the last year. That is a sharp increase from years past. Here's Mark Albert. See how spotty she is? David Hackenberg has never seen so much blight in his half century as a beekeeper. Last year of his 2,500 hives, barely more than half survived the summer when bee production usually soars. Well, years ago, it was pretty easy to keep bees. Unfortunately, that's not the case anymore. Bee colony deaths began rising nearly a decade ago, but it's now getting much worse. A new USDA survey found beekeepers lost 42% of their honeybees in the past year, the highest on record, up from 34% just a year before, with more losses in summer than winter for the first time. Summer is traditionally this great time, and bees should thrive. And here they're not. They're dying at a higher rate than they do during the most stressful time of the year. University of Maryland entomologist Dennis Van Engelsdorp, who worked on the survey, says the exact cause of the growing die-offs is not known. Researchers suspect parasites, loss of natural feeding areas to development, and pesticides may be to blame. The USDA is spending $15 million to learn more. This is a cancer. The industry is having a cancer. And it'll likely affect your next meal. One out of every three bites of food we eat is directly or indirectly pollinated by honeybees, including 130 fruits and vegetables. If we want to continue to produce fruits, nuts, and vegetables in this country, we have to make sure we have a healthy, movable pollination supply. Rising beekeeper costs get passed on to all of us at the supermarket. That colony there, the queen's starting to fail. Beekeeper David Hackenberg is holding on for now. But if it weren't for his son and his employees, depending on the business, he says he would have already called it quits. We like keeping bees. When they're hurting, we hurt. A painful decline of America's tiny pollinators that stings us all. Mark Albert, CBS News, New York.